Hey swimmers, welcome back to the Swim Vice channel. This quick tip video is on how to time your freestyle breath correctly. Now, before we get started, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner as I post videos every week to help with your swim practice. When practicing freestyle breathing, the best thing to do is to time your head position exactly when your body rotates. This way it ensures that your breath is early and quick which will help you move forward without any interruption. So when timing the breath, it feels like you're breathing early. So as you see in this freeze frame right here, I'm immediately taking in air, which is pretty quick. And in that moment, the pocket or bow wave is created due to timing the breath early. If you take too long or you're too late when breathing, then you do not have a pocket and it disrupts your rhythm and you may take in water when trying to breathe. So the key is to feel that your head position moves exactly when your body rotates. It's not a separate action. It is just one continuous motion guiding you to a breath. So when practicing how to time your breath, it's better to consciously focus on getting the breath early because when you do that, you'll end up getting the breath quickly naturally. You don't actually have to control breathing quickly as long as your head rolls with your body immediately to get the breath. So in this side view here, you can see that the breath is early, head stays straight. And at this moment, you see bubbles near my mouth. That's actually a pocket. So I'm essentially breathing really close to the surface, if not below it, due to the pocket that is created by getting the breath early and not lifting my head. And that is how you're able to breathe low and it does not disrupt your body alignment or your body position. So again, if you take too long to breathe, what happens is you end up falling out of balance, similar to riding a bike or something that requires balance with momentum forward. If you slow down prematurely or take too long with certain movements, your body position will actually fall out of place and it makes breathing more difficult and more challenging. So even though it might feel a little awkward or uncomfortable to breathe early and it feels quick, as you get more comfortable with this, you'll start to notice or feel more improvement with staying aligned on the surface without any sinking, just from timing the breath early. So just a subtle movement as timing it early makes a significant difference in your freestyle technique. So if you're watching this video and you're working on breathing or improving your freestyle breath, try out this practice point the next time you go to the pool and let me know how it goes in the comments below. And if you're interested in a step-by-step -step detailed program on how to achieve an efficient freestyle breath, head over to community.swimvice.com and get seven days free accessing multiple freestyle courses. All right, swimmers, enjoy your practice and I will see you all next week.